Hi, let me introduce you to spatial calculations in Oracle Analytics. This is a follow-up video to visualizing geometry data, which is the first in our series on geometry data type. If you haven't seen it, the reference URL will be available in the description of this video. Spatial calculations are now available in the calculation library under the option spatial. And these functions allows you to calculate spatial measurements of a geometry column or two different geometry columns. We have calculations that takes one argument as input. So for example, if I want to compute the geometry area of the US counties, I can select the geometry column for the US counties and pass it as an argument within the geometry area function. You'll also see calculations that takes two arguments as inputs. So for example, if I want to compute the distance between the counties and the storm buffer, I can select the respective geometry column from the data sets, pass it as an argument, and compute the spatial measurement between the two different geometry columns. These spatial functions are applicable to spatial data objects from an Oracle database, as well as well-known text format from a CSV file. You can even create a spatial calculation by blending the geometry column from an Oracle database and a well-known text format from a CSV file. These spatial calculations that require two arguments as input also needs a proper modeling with unique point of reference or joints between the data sets involved. We'll give you more information on that towards the end of this video. Let's now explore these spatial calculations with examples. On the visualization to my left, I have three different data layers with shapes from the US counties, the shape of a storm line, and the shape of a storm buffer that is drawn around the storm line. Now, if I want to relate the shapes of US counties with the shape of the storm buffer, I can easily do that using the spatial function geometry relate. So I use the function geometry relate, I pass the arguments, the first argument being the shape of the US counties through the geometry column county, and the second argument being the storm buffer, which is the geometry column representing the storm buffer. Once I create this calculation, it identifies whether shapes are inside each other, whether shapes are outside of each other, or whether they are touching borders with each other. In this example, if I expand this specific visualization, it will identify the US counties that are inside the storm buffer or whether they are touching the borders of the storm buffer. It also gives you the information on which all US counties are outside the storm buffer, but I have filtered it down to very specific filters to arrive at the right hand side. Similarly, you can also compute the distance between two geometric data types, and you can also use a calculation called as geometry within distance to satisfy a criteria. So for example, if we want to identify all the US counties that are within 350 kilometers of distance from the storm buffer, you can use the geometry within distance where I pass the arguments of the county geometry column, the storm buffer geometry column, and I input a measure to identify whether my US counties are within 350 kilometers to storm buffer. You can also complement it by calculating the actual distance between the storm buffer and the county using geometry distance. So for example, Berks is in a distance of 153 kilometer, Randolph is in a distance of 341 kilometer. You can also complement it with other geometry calculations for calculating the length of the storm line using geometry length or the area in square meters for the overall storm buffer using the geometry area. When we use geometry columns from a Oracle database, it functions shipping by executing the spatial functions within database and then try to give the result back to Oracle Analytics. If you are using a well-known text format or if you are trying to use a calculation that blends a geometry column from an Oracle database and a well-known text format from a CSV file, it tries to do the computation within the Oracle Analytics engine. Now, to compute a spatial relationship or measurement for more than one geometry columns, or if you are using a spatial calculation with more than two arguments, we need to create a join that generates the relationship between each pair of distinct areas. We need each county to be joining with the storm buffer for calculations like geometry within distance or geometry relate to work. And what we have done, we have created a lookup ID column in both of the data sets and we are then trying to establish a relationship by joining the lookup IDs from both of these data sets using an inner join. That's not the only way to do it, but we encourage you to create or establish this relationship while creating the data set. 
and we suggest you to avoid establishing the relationship as a manual blending within the canvas as a mesh. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Have fun with geometry data type and spatial calculations. Thank you.